Scottish education. Um, it has, has been and is a demonstration of the way in which the <coughs> development of uh, master's level learning uh, can uh, develop teacher professionalism. So I think <coughs> that what's, what's been achieved with charter teachers in the period, the, the charter teacher exercise in the period we've had it, by and large, is a good illustration of where we need to get to. I think the question that we have to face just now is, uh, in terms of having the profession as a whole as a master's level profession, um, and, trying, uh, and how do we best uh, uh, structure the opportunity for each and every teacher to develop uh, across their career um, towards master's level uh, qualifications. Um, so that, I think that must be a goal. To a certain extent, the notion of chapter teacher is almost compartmentalizing the notion of, of uh, master's level and putting it into a compartment for a certain set of people who volunteer themselves to do it. I think the mindset that we need to have in the profession as a whole is actually that should be the norm. That should be something that we're all moving to as teachers as we move through our careers. The notion of opening a master's account uh, in the in the pre-service period of education and building them out through probation or thereafter allows us to build generally towards a master's level of profession, which actually is what we should be uh, aiming for. I think it relates to about charity themselves. I mean, it, it's, it's the, the uh, recommendation of McCormick um, is only a recommendation from a, from a review group at this stage. I think um, the case remains to be made by, uh, by charity teachers uh, to show they're part of the solution um, uh, in the future. So I don't think uh, that the assumption should be made that, the, that it's a done deal in terms of, of uh, uh, the future of charity teachers. But I do think if charter teachers are to remain in some shape or form, there has to be quite radical rethinking about the nature and role of charter teachers within the, within the system. But apart from that, master's level learning, I think, is something we should aspire to for the professionals as a whole. We need to find ways of doing that. One of the things that we, we introduced last year um, on the PGTE course was an opportunity for students to obtain master's level credits as part of the course. Um, it was just a very gentle introduction last year for two reasons, because we, we didn't want to overload the students, but the other thing was we wanted to recognise actually the quality of some of the work that students were doing. And, and those of you who are PGD or B Ed will know that very often you are working to a very high academic level. Um, and in PGD we wanted to give students the opportunity to have that recognised, but also, as Graham says, to start on that master's level journey. So on PGD this year, they have the opportunity to gain 80 master's level credits, which will start them off. Um, now, the other thing that we're doing is we're working um, with Glasgow Council and North Lancashire Council. <coughs> and this year, for the first time, they're offering master's level credits modules for probationers. And this is to build on some of the, the things that are production year uh, tasks that students or probationers have to do. But it's taking it to that next level with them. So, yes, there's a bit of extra work, but it's encouraging that reflection, it's encouraging their master's level thinking based on the sorts of things that they're actually doing in school. And that is going to be open not just to PGDE students, but to BS students too. So, we're saying, yes, you might come out of PGDE with 80 master's level credits, you might exit from B Ed with having not started master's level credits, but here's your opportunity to do that. So this year we're running it with North Lanarkshire and Glasgow, and if that works, then we'll look to expand that. But it's just our way of starting to get people to think about working on that kind of level, not forcing people, but giving them the opportunity to do that. Thanks, Alan. I think we'd be interested to point to maybe have a brief response from David. <laughs> Firstly, I would welcome, welcome Graham Donaldson to respond to the question from Sheila. Um, I think it, it's worth pointing out to, to everybody here, although it's not necessarily relevant to folk and uh, where they are at uh, the present moment in their career, but the Association, Association of Charter Teachers Scotland entirely reject uh, recommendation 19 of the McCormick report, but we do recognise that uh, the report in a sense is a historical document that we move on to negotiations and it acts on behalf of all charter teachers will be involved, or be happy to involve, be involved in negotiations. Um, from here on in. I think in terms of the CPD Society at, at the Strathclyde, uh, I think it's very important that you, you consider over the next few weeks actually getting together and uh, responding formally yourselves to the McCormick Report, uh, because clearly there's major implications for yourselves embarking 
on your QDR. And if you haven't already done so, to, to make a response to the Monster Report or, or to, uh, to any of both. Um, and also to be aware of the, the work of the National Partnership Group that many organisations within Scottish Scot Scot education are involved in just now. And the National Partnership Group are involved presently in taking forward um, the Monster Report and the recommendations which have been cited um, almost wholly by, by the <coughs> It's important that you, you make your views uh, clear. Uh, I would say that it's a retrograde uh, step to consider the uh, abolition of the chapter teacher scheme. Uh, and I think, although it doesn't affect you at the moment because you're, you're embarking on the young promoted scale, moving towards a total scale, and then considering chapter teacher, I think as, as, as highly qualified graduates who are already thinking about you know, this course of master's level CPD, I would urge you to, to think ahead. To what's going to be there and uh, really to encourage you to stay within teaching uh, for the, the long run. Thanks, Andrew.